Welcome Sats Geniuses to question number 13. Here is a sketch of a triangle. It is not drawn to scale and we've got to draw the full size triangle accurately below. And it says use a ruler and protractor. Well a protractor is just a posh word for an angle measure. And we've got to make sure everything's accurate. So we've got to make sure that this 35 degrees is definitely 35 degrees from the bottom left corner. And we've got to make sure that we've definitely got a right angle from the bottom right corner. Fortunately, the 8 centimetres is already drawn for us. But sometimes, on some questions, we might have to actually measure a line using a ruler as well. But this question is mainly testing our use of the angle measure. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've actually got a ruler and protractor. We need the correct equipment. Then, what we're going to do is move the protractor so that the centre of the protractor which is this spot here, that's classed as the centre of protractor, is on the end of the line. Now, which end of the line are we going to? Well, seeing as the angle is on the left-hand side of the line, we need to put the centre of the angle measure on the left-hand end of the line. So, in other words, the start of the line. Once we've got the angle measure in position, we also need to make sure that the zero points along the line. Now this is really crucial because there are actually two zeros on an angle measure. There's an inside zero and then there's an outside zero over here too. Now we've got to make sure we choose the correct zero to measure from. So do we measure 35 degrees from the outside zero or do we measure 35 degrees from the inside zero? Now this all depends which of the two zeros is pointing on the, along the line. Well, it is, in this case, it is the inside zero that is pointing along our 8 centimeter line. The outside zero is actually all the way over here, so we don't actually need that one. That one's not even touching the 8 centimeter line. So we're definitely going to go for the inside zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to count around from the inside zero. So that would be 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 35 degrees would be there. And we're going to make sure we're going to put a mark on 35 degrees, which is shown by this little red mark here. The next thing we're going to do is move our protractor away. And there you can see the mark that was on 35 degrees. Next thing we do is going to get our ruler and put it level with the red mark. And we're going to draw a line straight through the red mark. Now, we don't actually know how long this line needs to be because there are no measurements, which is why I'm not actually do, drawing the line a specific distance. I'm just drawing a line straight through the red mark. The next thing we're going to do is take the ruler away and we've got our line, which is now 35 degrees. We could even write 35 degrees on it like that. And we need to make sure that the other angle is 90 degrees. So back comes the protractor. Make sure you move the centre of the protractor onto the right-hand end of the line this time because that's where the 90 degrees comes from. Remember, that's the centre of your protractor. We're then going to make sure that we mark off 90 degrees. Now, 90 degrees is basically 90 degrees, whichever zero that you're coming from. But really, just to reinforce the idea that we're going from the zero that is pointing along the line, this here is the outside zero, and that is pointing along the line. Over here is the inside zero, and that is not pointing along the line. So we need to be measuring from the outside zero. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that's why the mark goes there. Once you've got the mark in, move your angle measure away, and there's your red mark. Bring your ruler back on, and then draw a line to your red mark, back down to the eight centimeter line. And there you have your finished triangle. So just to recap, we used an angle measure and measured 35 degrees from the bottom left corner. And we drew our line using a ruler through the red mark. Then we went to the bottom right corner, put the protractor there, and we drew a right angle at 90 degrees and put a red mark there. And then we used our ruler to join that end of the line to the red mark. And that is our finished triangle. Don't worry too much about these bits of the lines over here. They're actually a bit too long. You're not going to lose any marks just because your lines are a bit too long. What matters 
is that this angle down here is 35 degrees and this angle here is 90 degrees and we definitely measured them correctly. We were never given any information anyway about how long this line was and how long this line was. They will automatically cross at the right point because we've got the angles correct. So that's how you get the mark on this question.